Okay, in this video, we're going to go over the updates to the Outliner, which is this little box over here on the left-hand side. Basically, it's your library of pieces, your solids, your curves, your sheets. And uh, the, I'm going to show you all the many improvements that have happened on the 1.3 update. So I'm basically done modeling my TIE Interceptor, and there might be a few bits and pieces I go back into, but for the most part, I am done. So now it's the time to organize, which I probably should have done from the beginning, but that's okay. Uh, the new updates do make it a whole lot easier. So let's uh, open up the wings here, and you can see all the bits and pieces to the wings. And if you ever wanted to just uh, select everything in a group, just Alt and click on the name, and you can see you can grab everything. So the cool thing about this now is now I have, um, you could do subgroups inside uh, uh, the main group here. So I've got just the guns or I got my sensor pod here and I'm just alt clicking on here. And now when you look at the name and convention of everything, that has also changed too. So basically it is what it was originally created with. So say like this piece here, scroll down and you can see that it was originally created as a cylinder and then modified heavily since then so you've got a face sheet you know this piece here was originally just a sheet at one point then extruded out this piece here was a pipe and so on and so forth so that kind of helps you uh, narrow down things on what they were you know it, it helps you in the beginning there to kind of organize things, but we're going to organize it even more. So let's go ahead. I am going to take all these solar cells and I'm going to put them in a group. So I got them all down here at the bottom here because you can move things around. I can slide it, move it up there or drag it up top. Get up towards the top. It'll start scrolling up for you. So we'll go up to the top of the stack. Oh, there they all are. Cool. And if you remember in previous videos, the material, the little dot there shows that it has a material assigned to it. You can always right click and remove. And now you can remove multiple things, which is cool. So I'm going to take these and go up to the main group. And I'm going to right click, do new group, subgroup with current selection. And now it created a group within a group subgroup so I'm going to double click that so now I have a group of just solar panels but I could take it a step further if I select down here hold and shift and double click I could do solar cell and rename all of them at once and as you can see, it'll do a 120. It just depends on when it was created and the order. So, yeah, it's not perfect. But now I got all these things named solar cell. So whenever I export it to another program, I can easily find my different material items. So that'll make it quick and easy for texturing. So as I said, this is a pretty handy feature. As you can see, I've got a ways to go here and uh, solidifying and changing names and stuff like that but it really doesn't make quick it easy work for uh, organizing your project to send to other applications or just get yourself organized inside plasticity so and that's your new outliner options for 1.3